Hello, my name is Henry Enfrey, and this is a Raylib game development tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make it so that your character can jump in the game that you're making. Now before we begin, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And last tutorial, I made it so that for shooting, you press the space bar. Well, I made just a little minor change, and it's it's just really, 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 really minor. Instead of the space bar, I made it so you can press the S button for shooting. S for shooting. And you can do that if you want to, and if you don't, that's, that's, that's your choice. And there is absolutely no change to the code that we made in last tutorial. All I did was just erase the word space and put S. That's the only change. So it's, it's up to you if you want to do that. And one reason I did that is because... I always like to make my jump button the A key on the keyboard. And the A button and the S button are close together on the keyboard. So that's why I changed this to S and our jump button is going to be A. Okay, so let's go back up and look at what we have. Now the first thing that I did was I introduced this Boolean variable that I call jump. And then I also created an integer variable called jump timer. So, so this is just to tell the computer that, to, that the A button is pressed and to execute the jump. And this is the timer for the jumping. And you'll see what I mean below. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down. And it's this section here. And there's really not a lot of code here. And before I get too deep in this tutorial, in this tutorial, I didn't find it too necessary to write comments. The variables will tell you what's going on. Sometimes if the variable can tell you what's going on, I probably won't write that many comments. Okay, so here, this is our jump section, and it's not really that much code. So what this says is, once the A button is pressed, the jump variable becomes true. And once that jump variable becomes true, the jump timer starts. And while the jump timer is below 80, Henry will be going up. Otherwise, else means otherwise, if the jump timer gets above 80, that's when Henry starts going down. And then down here it just says, and this says that whole jump process will take place between 160 seconds or pixels per second or whatever you want to call it according to the timer and what 160 is it's just 80 times 2 or 160 divided by 80 whichever way you want to look at it so you got 80 seconds going up and 80 seconds going down to keep it all even once the timer gets to 160 basically that'll be when Henry lands the timer goes to zero and jump will be false. So when it gets to 160, that would be Henry landing on the ground. Otherwise, if this is not even, Henry will be flying in the air and that won't look natural. It'll look weird so far as jumping is concerned. All this time we've been working with the X direction, but now in, uh, when we're dealing with jumping, we're working with the Y direction. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire up our game and see what happens now. Okay, so we got Henry, and when I press the A button, Henry jumps. It all happens within that 160, you know, because computers count fast. So Henry goes up, and he goes down, he goes up, and down, he goes up 80, comes down another 80. Okay, so that's our jumping, and that's the end of this tutorial. Until next time, thanks. Bye. <coughs>